Hello, this is author Wendy Walker, and this is actually part five of my Rising Stars virtual book tour. We are about to hear directly from some of today's most talented and inspiring authors in the thriller suspense genre. Rhea Fry has this ability of reaching inside you and grabbing hold of your heartstrings and your moral compass and twisting them until you come out the other side. Her first book, Not Her Daughter, was so thought provoking that I really didn't know how I wanted it to end. It just blurred the lines of right and wrong. She followed that up with Because You're Mine, and now she has a new one coming out called Until I Find You. Hey guys, Rhea Fry here, author of Domestic Suspense Novel, Until I Find You. Uh, comes out August 11th, wherever books are sold. And Until I Find You, a blind widow, Rebecca Gray, believes her three-month-old son has been swapped for another baby, but no one will believe her. Uh, I really got the inspiration for this story when I kept getting this reoccurring nightmare of a mother hearing her child cry, walking in to the nursery, picking the baby up out of the crib and realizing it wasn't her baby. When you throw in a protagonist with a visual impairment, I just feel like the stakes are really raised and it, it it's a really good conversation starter and wonderful for book clubs. So if this sounds like something you might be interested in, check out Until I Find You, August 11th. Vanessa Lilly is so talented at taking a complex mystery and then adding a character with a compelling psychological issue so that you not only are turning pages to find out what happens, but you are rooting for this character with everything you have because you understand what she's going through. Little Voices dealt with a character who had postpartum depression and for the best has a character struggling with alcoholism. But those are not the main subjects of the books. They just draw you in and make you care about the outcome. Hi, I'm Vanessa Lilly. I'm a thriller author. My debut uh, was Little Voices, which is right over my shoulder. Um, and today I'm going to be talking um, about For the Best. So this is my second thriller, and it's a story of a nonprofit CEO who has sort of the perfect life that she's seemingly built, but she has a drinking problem. And one night she's blackout drunk and she becomes the only suspect in a murder. So she starts a vlog to investigate the crime she's accused of and runs all around Providence, Rhode Island, where I live, um, investigating this crime and trying to hunt down leads um, to save herself. So this is about buried truths, coming to terms with your past, um, and finding out what happened on that one night that she can't remember that could ruin the rest of her life. So that comes out September 8th. And thank you so much for having me, Wendy. This is great. Amy Engel's debut novel, The Roanoke Girls, was the first book I was actually asked to review. And what can I say? It was literary, it was dark, it was atmospheric, it went into some really profound psychological issues and family drama. It had everything. Phenomenal. And that book was followed up this year by The Familiar Dark. Hi, I'm Amy Engel and my latest book is The Familiar Dark. Uh, the book takes place in the poorest part of the Missouri Ozarks, and it follows Eve Taggart, whose preteen daughter was just murdered. Uh, Eve herself was raised in the backwoods of the Ozarks by an abusive, drug-addicted mother, and when Eve had her daughter, she decided to leave that life behind, or at least attempt to. But once her daughter is murdered, Eve has to make a decision about how far back into her mother's orbit she's willing to be drawn in order to get justice for her child. So if that sounds intriguing to you, I hope you'll check it out, and I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Erica Forensic's first novel, The River at Night, got rave reviews and was widely acclaimed. Her second novel, Into the Jungle, is gripping, and breathtaking and the kind of book that brings you to another place, in this case, the jungle, and it leaves you completely transformed.
She recently spent three weeks in Greenland researching for her new book coming next year called Girl in Ice. Hi, my name is Erica Forensic and this is my novel Into the Jungle. This is about a young American woman who travels to South America and meets a, a Bolivian man. She falls madly in love with him and follows him to his remote jungle village where she has to call on all her wits and resilience to survive. This book is for anyone who loves a thriller that takes place in an exotic location, maybe one you would never visit in your lifetime. Uh, so please check it out, Into the Jungle by Erica Forensic. Thank you. Our next author, Maxine May Fung Chung, is not able to be here even virtually with us because she's actually working as a doctor on the front lines in the UK battling the coronavirus. She agreed to let me speak about her book in her stead, and I have quite a bit to say about it. Um, the Eighth Girl is an exquisite exploration of childhood trauma and its impact on the psyche. It's part thriller and part character study, and it's the kind of book that you will read every single word and reflect on every single sentence and every passage because each one is such an astute observation of humanity. I cannot recommend this book highly enough. The Eighth Girl and Maxine, our thoughts and good wishes go out to you and our gratitude for the work that you're doing on the front lines of this pandemic. So that's it for part five of my Rising Stars virtual book tour. I hope you will check out the books of these incredibly talented authors. And if you love them as much as I did, please consider offering ratings and reviews everywhere you can. You can do that on platforms such as Goodreads and Amazon, independent bookstore sites, major book chain sites, you can also do it on social media, wherever you feel comfortable. It helps these authors so much to just spread the word about their talent, about their work, and to bring their books into the homes and the lives of other readers. So thank you, and I hope to see you soon.